Hello, I think everyone knows Google Home's Dinosaur game. You can play it in a browser when your internet is down by pressing spacebar. And there is an online version ripped by Skipser. So basically what are you doing in game is just jumping over obstacles. You can see the dinner just move up and down in the same position. Let's create a simple bot to play this game for us. Okay, so we know that we need just to jump. But how to make a bot jump? First, we need to be aware of our surroundings and decide when we need to jump. Let's draw a rectangle in front of our dinner and see if we jump when there is something in it. Okay, so we jumped before there was an obstacle. So we can move this tetragon in front to match exact position when we need to jump. Okay, now it looks good. So we can capture game screen the specified area and if there is a difference in this area, we perform a jump. First what we need to do is to capture the image, after that we can offset our target area. So let's print screen the game screen and paste it to paint. If you fully zoom out and zoom in, you will see mouse pointers coordinates in pixels in bottom left corner. Let's check upper left and bottom right corners of our dinner. We will use pillow library to grab an image. First, let's import image grab and image ops. Next, let's create a dinner variable with its corners coordinates. After that, we can create an image grab function. Here we need to define our bounding box. Let's add coordinates. Next, we use image grab function from pillow library to grab the image and assign it to image variable. After that, we convert image to grayscale image ops dot grayscale and in brackets we add image variable. Gray image will let us easily compare images when it's empty or not. And finally we can save it. Gray image dot save and in brackets let's add the image name. It will be saved in the same folder where our python file is. Ok, let's call the function and print the result. It won't print anything but we will have an image. Let's see. Ok, we almost fully captured a dinner, let's tweak a little bit. Ok, now it's perfect. Next, let's add some offset deltas. I already tested the right offsets, we just need to add them to the function. Now we can rename image to target. Now we should get an empty white tetragon. And it is. We can comment this line. Next, let's use pillow library's getColors method. It will return a list of colors used in the image. Let's add return statement. Ok, we have some values when it's totally empty. Let's sum these values and see the result. So we have 1507 for an empty tetragon. So the logic what we need is very simple. If we get different sum, we jump. Ok, let's move on by importing two new libraries. By AutoGUI, it will let us control the game and time to control press time of pressed keyboard keys. We don't need this print statement anymore. Let's write jump function. It's very simple. We write by AutoGUI dot key down and brackets space. It means that spacebar will be pressed. Next, we sleep a little bit, release the spacebar and sleep again. So this is how we jump. Next we also want to automatically restart or start the game. Here we just need to click the replay button. We will return to this part later. And finally we need to create a main function where everything is controlled. So first we check if game is over. If it is, we press restart button. Next we need continuously grab the image and check if we need to jump. So we use while loop here. We grab the image. If some of color values isn't the same as in the tetragons, we jump. And everything we finish by adding the magical if name equal to main and run the main function. Ok, we almost finished. We just need send the coordinates for a play button. Use the same print screen. Paste it to paint. Zoom out, zoom in to make coordinates showed in the bottom left corner. And assign these coordinates to replay variable. And this is it. Let's run to see how our bot plays a game.
Okay, it looks quite good, but not perfect. Because the speed increases and for larger speed you need to jump early. But I think it is quite good example how easy we can interact with game and create a simple bot to play it. Using the same method you can create different bots to play different games. Hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. You will find the code in the description. If you liked this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.